if one were to attempt to identify the great vessels of the heart, this can be challenging. Certainly, from the exterior of the heart, one can identify atria and ventricles. And it is true that arteries tend to have narrower, um, thicker walls than the veins, which are thinner and wider. But that being said, there is variation from individual to individual, individual cows in this case. And depending on where the vessels are cut from the cow's body, this can greatly alter the appearance. And so therefore, one might recommend that instead of trying to identify these vessels from the exterior, that instead one were to, should look at the interior of uh, the heart and watch where these vessels um, enter the heart. So for example, if one were to ask which vessels are these, regardless of what they look like, they are entering the right atrium. Now, there are three vessels which enter the right atrium. One is the coronary sinus, bringing deoxygenated blood from uh, the walls of the heart itself, from the myocardium. And so this enters through a vein, a thin-walled vein, which is called the coronary sinus, which lies in the posterior atrioventricular groove. But these other two vessels are the vena cava, the superior vena cava, draining the superior portions of the body of its deoxygenated venous blood from the systemic circuit, and the inferior vena cava. So there are three blood vessels which empty into the right atrium, and excluding the narrow coronary sinus, the other two would be the two vena cava. Leaving the right ventricle is one single artery known as the pulmonary trunk, which then branches into the pulmonary arteries. Note that it passes the pulmonary semilunar valve and does not pass through an atrium. The blood which travels through uh, the pulmonary trunk reaches the lungs where it is oxygenated, and then it can return to the heart as red oxygenated blood through pulmonary veins. There are two pairs of pulmonary veins, two on the left, two on the right, and these enter into the left atrium. All right, and so any um, vessel, which you might be asked to identify, uh, which enters the left atrium would be a pulmonary vein. From the left atrium, blood is pumped into the left ventricle, and then when it is squeezed, it goes past the aortic semilunar valve into the aorta. One notices here the aorta, which then pumps the arterial blood um, into the systemic circuit. Now, note that there are two separate openings because the aorta will begin to branch, forming the brachiocephalic trunk, subclavian arteries, a common uh, uh, carotid arteries depending on the species, and so therefore there may seem to be separate vessels which empty here, but it's really that the arch of the aorta begins to um, branch. Note that both of these probes are passing the aortic semilunar valve and then enter the left ventricle without um, passing through the left atrium. And so, if one were asked to identify the great vessels of the heart, the easiest way might simply to, be obser to observe where these vessels enter the heart to identify a vessel as the vena cava, or the coronary sinus, um, as the pulmonary trunk, if it's coming into the right ventricle, um, if it's entering the left atrium, it must be a pulmonary vein, or if it's leaving the left ventricle but not passing through the left atrium, it must be the aorta.